Hi, I'm Sierra Roberts. Hi, I'm Courtney Roberts, and I'm 14. And both of you are my cousins. Right. <laughs> How are you? Doing great. Are you still shocked? Yes. <laughs> you are? I am. You're still shocked? Yes. I have to get used to it. Yeah, I have to get used to it. What is it? Is it seriously? Is it just the breast or is it everything? It's just it's, it's just the breast. It's just that. Nothing else. It's so the makeup didn't bother you? No, yes. The dresses that didn't shock you. No. no. It did it. The breast shock you. The breast shocked me. <laughs> and plus, and I mean, you went in from hub and I was like, <laughs> I don't know. It feel different. It so feel different. different. But now you have to start naming your breasts like me. What'd you name your breasts? <laughs> Isabella and Tom. <laughs> Tom? Did you Isabella name your breasts? No. <laughs> okay. So earlier today we were, we were having a conversation in the kitchen and when the topic of me being a woman came up. Both of you all said that you weren't surprised. I always had the vibe where, that you were. I accepted it from the jump. You are who you are. And, and at the end of the day, you're still the same person we met when we were like super little. So right. It didn't change anything for us. Right. And we're glad that um, we got to see you become who you are. So when you heard that I was transitioning, did you, did you, what questions did you have? I knew about it. I already knew about it. How did y'all know about it? It's on Instagram. <laughs> when I saw the post of you changing your gender, you changed all that with all the documents. I was really like, transgender people are people. They're humans. And, right, they're humans. They're equal to. And people think that you're supposed, when, you're supposed to be masculine, or you're supposed to be feminine, or you're supposed to like women or you're supposed to like men and that's the part that causes controversy you said that like um sort of the transition helped you have courage to come out right right um how so seeing you i told my friend about it and she was like you should come out because it's probably the best time and my mom was like I guess she was trying to scare her. She fussed at me about it. She was like, I don't want you to be this way. She started crying out of nowhere. She was like, I always thought that you would be like a white picket fence. It's okay. My mom thought it would be like that her daughter would get married to a man or at that time, but I had to go to therapy because I didn't want my mom to feel that way. I wanted to keep my mom proud of me, and I thought she wouldn't be proud of me about it. But but me and her had to go to counsel because we were fussing about the fact that I was the way I was. And I said, Mom, it's, it was my choice. It was how I felt. I felt this way for a long time until, and today I told you, What's the importance, you think, of family in helping, like, support people who are trans or LGBTQ? Like, Nobody can change who you are. God made you, and you're a beautiful creation. Don't build somebody else's future. It's the other person's choice to be the way that they are. My sister didn't judge me, did you? She didn't judge me about what was happening, because I feel like siblings would listen more than a parent. Well, thank you for taking the time to talk. I think that there's a lot that people can learn from just listening to you all. Thank you. So thank you so much. <laughs>